Um, my answer to this question is a 40 centimeter length of wire carries a current of 20 amps. It is bent into a loop and placed with its normal perpendicular to magnetic field, the magnitude of 0.52 Tesla. What is the torque on the, on the loop if it is bent into an equilateral triangle A, uh, B a square, C a circle? What is the greatest torque? Um, when it's placed perpendicular to the magnetic field, um, we'll have a um, basically a sine of 90 degrees for this problem. And this comes into effect when we take the cross product, which will give us the torque. Torque, in this case, is equal to um, U, or the dipole, um, the magnetic dipole moment, cross B, which is equivalent to I times the area um, enclosed. Um, or like, uh, I'll explain that in a sec. I, A, uh, times the B times sine theta, which as we said would be the same as 90 degrees, which is equal to 1. So I'm just going to take that out of there right now. Which, so basically we have this equation, I, A, B. And, um, the area would be like the area in in that the loop is enclosing. So in this case, we have the area of an equilateral triangle. So I'll do A right here. And what we have is this triangle with three equal sides. So I'll we'll have 40, or I'm going to use 0.4 meters, divided by 3 to get the three different sides. Um, and then I have that times 1 half. Um, because the area of a triangle is one half base, so this is base right here, and then height. Now the height is sine 60 um, times the length of the side. So what I'll do is sine 60 times point four meters divided by three. And this is the area. And then I'll have an I of 20 amps, which is given in the problem, times the magnetic field, which is 5.52 Tesla. Which, when you work it all out, plug everything in, is a torque equal to 0 0.08 newton meters. Now I'll do the next one, which is B. I'll do it right under it, B. And what we have in this one is a square. So we have a square, which I need to take 0.4 meters divided by 4 in order to get the length of each side which is equal to 0.1 meters. So now that I have the length of each side, um, to get the area of a square, we have area is equal to, um, since it's a square, 0.1 meters squared. So we have an I times an A times a magnetic field, which is equal to the torque at sine um, of 90 degrees. So we have 0.1 meters squared times 20 amps times 0.52 Tesla, which is equal to a torque of point one zero four newtons per meter. This is the answer to B. And now for part C, a circle. Um, for a circle, we 
are going to need to find the area of the side, or obviously we can't. So what I'm going to do is set the circumference equal to 0.4 meters, because that's the wire being that's the length of the wire which is being bent into a circle. Which um, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So I have 0.4 meters equal to r, and now I'm going to divide this to 0.4 by 2 pi. Now we also know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So what I do is I input this for r, so I have a is equal to pi times point four meters divided by two pi squared which um, let me do the math on that real quick which gives us an area equal to um, pi is equal to or sorry pi multiplied by 0.16 meters divided by 4 pi squared pi can be cancelled and essentially um, what we are left with is there is equal to 0 0.04 meters over pi So again, I times A times B, which 20 amps, times 0 0.04 meters divided by pi times 0 0.52 Teslas equal to the torque and the torque is equal to 0.1324 Newton meters and we're asking which one's the greatest um, we can just look at each of these and we have 0.8 over here 0 0.104 over here and 0.134 over here. So the greatest one would be the circle. And there's the answer to the problem.